everyone, it's Marissa and Aria Fitness. I'm Marissa and this is Aria and we're going to go through a 20 minute yoga sculpt class. This is week number four of five for this yoga sculpt progressive challenge. If you haven't checked out the other week, the link is in the description below and I'll catch you here soon. Otherwise, all you need is yourself and a little set of dumbbells and let's go. Taking a huge inhale open and exhale forward fold, shaking out your arms. Feel your hamstrings stretch. Inhale, find your half lift flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find your strong plank. Little forward and back. Exhale, lower down with control. Inhale, find your cobra or your upward dog. Exhale, find your down dog. Pedal this out. Find your half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach open to the sky. And exhale, chair pose. Inhale, reach open, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, inhale, find your plank and flowing through your vinyasa. Inhale your right foot into the air. Exhale, step that foot through. Inhale, arms rise, crescent lunge. Take a breath. Exhale, let your hands come back down. Find that downward dog. Inhale, left foot to the sky. Exhale, step into your lunge. Inhale, arms rise, crescent lunge. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, strong plank. Exhale, lower with control through your chaturanga. Two breaths, child's pose or downward dog. And we're going to find our little set of dumbbells for our bicep curls. Finding yourself into your forward fold, grabbing that set of weights and roll yourself up to a standing position. Finding your chair, we're going to pin those elbows. We're gonna curl and look. Exhale, squeeze. Take it down. Nice job, one more here. Lengthen your arms out and roll it back. Push it out, roll it back. Nice job. We're gonna curl up to your temples. Pressing through your heels. Keeping your core tight. Stay in your chair, curl it here. Squeeze, exhale, squeeze. Feel those shoulders lock with down and away from your ears. Option to balance your chair coming up onto the pad of your feet. Find that focal point. And you may release. Put those weights off to the side. We're going to come into our push-ups next. So if you have a full push-up in your practice, you can do full push-up the entire time. If not, you can full push-up down, put your knees down and modify push-up back up. Again, push up all the way down to your belly. Pressing, keeping your core tight. Make sure your elbows are a 45 degree. Good, doing great on those push-ups. A little bit faster. Here we go. Take it down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale press. We're going to do a plank jack. Take your feet out. Take them in. Keep your shoulders over your wrists. You can go option fast. Out. In. Take it out. In. Push up. Again. Plank jack. Two push-ups. Four plank jacks. Two 
two push-ups. You can do this. And child pose. We're going to grab those dumbbells. Find your way to a forward fold. Roll yourself up to the top. We're going to do our squats. So turning your feet outward, putting the weight into your heels. And we're going to hold the weight up by your shoulders when we go through our squats today. We're going to sink down and press. Inhale down. Feel your quads, feel your glutes, and press. Add that shoulder press overhead. Inhale down. And exhale, squat press. To the limit. Little bit faster. Down, press. Feel your core, feel those shoulders. And really squeeze your glutes. Full extension. Pulse it. You've got this. Stay low. And then find yourself to your plank. Chaturanga. Finding your way up to your standing position. We're going into our cardio. We are going to shuffle, little pulse, pulse. Take a shuffle and pulse. So keeping your palms open, keeping your core tight. You're nice and light on your feet. Stay here, twist. Feel your obliques driving that motion. Option to stay up or option to reach and touch towards the floor. Keep your knees driving outward. And shuffle, little squat, and shuffle, little squat pulse. Nice job. We're gonna add in our twist. Shuffle back. Exhale, twist. Stand proud and twist. We're gonna add a side lunge. Side lunge. Yes, this, we're going to rotate through a few more times. Burn those quads. Side lunge. Side lunge on both sides. Shuffle. Twist, twist. If you would like to do your side lunges up like I'm showing, you can. If not, bring your hands to the ground. You can come all the way deeper. Keep going. Twist. Side lunges. Just keep breathing. Want that heart rate going up. One more time here and back. Get that side lunge. Go low if you can. Last time through. Last side lunges. And take a breath, side head out. If you need water, you quick grab it now. Option to breathe into your chest. Invite a little back bend. Shaking out those arms. Reaching open to the sky and exhale forward, fold back down. Let's find that chaturanga, feeling those triceps. And we're gonna grab our dumbbells. Come onto all four, step your right foot through, heel right underneath your knee, extend and row. You take it, pull, take it down. Exhale, pull, option to balance in your warrior three on these reps. Find your focal point, Aria is my focal point. Hold it at the top, breathe, pulse it out. Pulse those elbows to the sky. You're gonna stay on your right foot, drop your left foot back and open into your strong warrior two. Keep that right knee bent, reach forward, reverse your warrior. We're gonna extend and tricep, press. Take it down and press. Feel the back of your arm, you've got this. And 
and we're gonna gently rest that right arm down right upon your right quad. Reverse fly, left arm is gonna come around to your chest. Exhale it open, feel your back work. It's like you're giving someone a hug. I'm showing you from the other side, you stay where you are. Good job. Your core is tight, controlling that weight. Back to your warrior two and let that go. Roll out your shoulders, take a huge inhale, reach up, exhale, forward fold down. Finding your chaturanga nice and quick. We're gonna take that left foot forward, finding your lunge, we're gonna row. We have the option this time to row palms facing behind you, take your elbows wider, a wide row. Optional balance, warrior three. Little palms. Keep all the weight on the left heel, open into your warrior two. Keep your left knee bent, reach forward, reverse your warrior, keep your elbow where it is, tricep extensions, inhale down, exhale through. Doing great. Back to warrior two, gently rest your left arm down. Reverse fly, you take the weight in front of your chest, you open it up. Keep a little bend in your elbow. Exhale, open, squeeze your back. And releasing out. Putting the weight on your right foot, pull those weights up. We're in that balancing tree pose. So feel free to keep your foot, your toes touching the floor, or you can come higher in your tree. We're gonna flip, make it harder. We're gonna press up above shoulder press. Good control, exhale, press. Inhale, back down. Just finding a balance for a breath. Control that out, roll out your ankle. Finding your tree pose on the other side, palms towards you, pull it up, elbows out to the side walls, and slide that down. Exhale, pull. Flip and now press overhead. Keep your core tight. Find that focal point. Here we go. And balance. Nice job. Releasing, you may roll out that ankle. Huge inhale, open, exhale, forward, fold. Put those weights off to the side. Our last chaturanga of practice. Strong plank. Exhale, lower to your belly or halfway. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. And exhale, child's pose, down dog. We're gonna transition around to our boat pose. Do you wanna come sit? Super long spine. And Aria is really excited that I am down at her level. Imaginary tennis ball between your chin and your chest. Keep yourself leaning back slightly. You're already gonna feel your core. Lift one foot, tap the other, and tap. Optional both feet. Hit the top and hold. Option to let those hands go. Reaching open.
and release. We want to keep our feet on the mat. Roll yourself down. We're going to do our glute bridges. So put your dumbbells on your hips. I'm going to use Aria as my weight. Fingers reach towards your heels and you're going to roll your hips up into the air and roll yourself back down to the mat. Press through your heels, get that nice height. And rolling down. Very slow. All the way up. Think all the way onto your shoulders. Keep those hips in the air. Put all the weight into your left foot. Lift your right foot. We're gonna get a few reps. Hips come down. Press through your left heel all the way up. If that's too hard, just do regular glute bridges. Nice. Tap down and press one more. And then we're gonna switch sides. Put your right foot down. Press through your right heel, lift your left foot. Hips tap the floor. Hips come up into the air. Three more. Hit and hold at the top, both feet down, lift those heels. Huge belly breath, option to roll shoulders underneath, clasp fingers together. Keep that nice squeeze. Last bit of work today. Roll yourself down and out so slow. And side out at the bottom. You can straighten out those legs, reach hands overhead, take a full body stretch. You guys did great. We're just going to get a few stretches, gentle knees to chest, and massage out your back. Let the knees fall to the right. Eyes turn to the left into your spinal twist. Relax your shoulders. Use the strength of your core to bring your knees back to center. Let your knees fall to the left. Eyes turn to the right. Coming back to center, we're going to take this dead bug pose. Grabbing at the ankles or big toes, just a little sway. And we have the option today to go into our shoulder stand. You support your low back or you can just keep your legs above your hips, hips completely on the ground. Just take a few breaths, letting the feet stay above the heart. One more breath. We want to control down, finding a comfortable place to rest. Close your eyes. Just let go. Enjoy your Shavasana pose. Taking a deep breath, inviting movement to your fingers and toes and any final stretch. Rolling to your right side for a breath.
open up to any comfortable seated position to end your practice. Sitting nice and tall. Thanking yourself for going through this flow and workout today. The light and love in me honors the light and love in you. Namaste. Thank you all so much for going through this Yoga Sculpt class. Make sure you subscribe because Aria is going to play fetch the entire video that's coming out next. If you're excited to do crunches, we're going to use a ball under the low back. We're going to get lots and lots of work done on the core through our crunches, twisting crunches, and a few planks. And Aria is going to play fetch the entire class. And it's really cute. It makes it go by really fast. So I'll see you in the next video. Have a great one. Bye.